Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. So it's not a surprise by the title and the thumbnail, you guys know what we're doing today. But I guess the surprise is it's not a Bristol, it's a Hoover this time. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys a review of this Hoover One Power Floor Made Jet. It's a vacuum and mop, but it is cordless as well. Uh, so as always, I like to show you guys how to put it together and assemble it. I'll show you how to use it, and I'll show you how to clean it afterwards. At the end, I have some pros and cons on this machine. So if you are interested in purchasing this, unit maybe you want to stick around to the end to hear those pros and cons but before we get started on the video please be sure to subscribe to my channel down below hit that thumbs up and with all that being said let's get right into it so now i got the professional model because it comes with the bigger battery the 4 uh, amp max and uh, now uh, i think this model is exclusive for home depot uh, because all the models that you see on amazon and other stores uh, they come with smaller battery the 3 amp uh, but uh, for $20 more I was able to get the machine with the bigger battery so it was a great deal for me uh, but don't worry if you already purchased the one with a small battery you can uh, buy extra batteries they are available online uh, other than that the machine is pretty awesome and uh, it is half the price I paid for my Pistol Crosswave now moving on to product assembly it was super simple and easy to set up the machine and get it going it only took me about five minutes to figure everything out i'm going to pop a photo right here so you guys can see how the machine came in it was very much all assembled and ready to go even the tanks were in all you have to do is push the handle into the body until you hear a lock and a click the clean water uh, and solution thing had the cap taped on the side of it so you just have to remove that tape and place the cap on the tank and close it that's pretty much everything that need to be done okay so that's better i really hope you can see everything because i'm going to show you everything this model came with you get the unit itself and you get multi-purpose roller brush one um eight ounces a um, multi-surface cleaning solution that's nice because you get to test out your machine right away this measuring cup i'll talk more about it when we get there but i do like this rinse and storage tray it serves two purposes you can store your machine right on top of it so it's stored nice and neat you have two slots for roller even though it only came with one but if you purchase the extra one you have one spot for it so you can uh, store them right here so they can dry out properly and the measuring cup as you saw it goes right on here i usually keep this one here as well you get a charger for your battery and you get the battery itself your manual and this one it shows you how to register your product for warranty and things like that you have, you have a quick start guide which i really like because you can take a quick look and see how you can get the machine going right away uh, so that's everything came with this model now i got an extra uh, roller this is also the multi-purpose roller brush in blue uh, so i really like this color i can't wait to try it i also got the uh, multi-surface 32 ounces multi-surface cleaner and this is the citrus blossom scent i really liked it it smells amazing uh, but yeah i think that's it right now i'm going to show you guys how to actually use the machine now honestly it's super easy to use the machine everything is labeled so it's pretty easy to understand you have the solution in water tank right here in the back dirty water tank in the front and uh, first thing first you need to charge your battery you need to get it fully charged before you use it which takes up to three hours but while that's happening you can read the manual and get pretty familiar and understand more the machine and how it works um, while that's happening also you can fill up the water tank on the water tank they have lines for uh, water and solution and they have small area and large area so you can fill up your tank with water until you get to the water line and then you can continue to put up with the solution until you get to the solution line and once you're done you can just close it first and place it back on the machine now since i have this machine honestly every time i have leftover solution and water i just leave it in the uh, machine and so far i don't have any leak problems um i'm not sure if you're supposed to do that but 
so far so good for me uh, once all that's done and your battery is fully charged you can place the battery it goes right in here so you place it close it and you're ready to go right here i'm going to insert clips so you guys can see the machine in action and you can hear how it sounds this is a loud machine so this is a warning i'm not going to edit the sound on the, uh, this clip i'm going to play right now i really want you to hear how it sounds i know it's very important for some people it has two settings for high and eco mode it is definitely um, louder on high mode it gets a little bit better a little bit softer on eco mode but it's still pretty loud i'm going to start on eco mode so you can uh, hear how it sounds and then you're going to totally tell the difference when i turn the setting to high mode because it's going to sound a little louder okay now i'm going to turn it on high mode Now like I said, this machine is cordless so no cord to trip over and it's pretty lightweight and easy to maneuver. It has light in the front which I really love. I never had any unit like this that has light in the front. So it's really nice feature, I really like it. And uh, people who uh, had the older model, they really said this model is so much lighter than the older one. And I love the fact that it vacuums as it cleans, uh, so you don't have to sweep or vacuum the floor, which makes it almost too easy to clean all the floor in the house. I really don't have pets or little kids messy eater to put it on truth test for you guys but I'll see what I what mess I can make right now for the demo but I will tell you though it does a really good job on ordinary dirt uh, the floor takes a little bit of time to dry uh, but that's fine because we are putting water down on the floor so it's not going to dry instantly but when I was researching this unit people have little kiddos and pets body training milk juice spills they did recommend this machine and they said it does a fantastic job on wet and dry messes i just thought it was worth to mention of course do your own research now right now i'm going to test it on my tile floor in the kitchen i have graphs as well now it does a really good job on the tile this roller brush but it is almost too soft to scrub out the grout so it doesn't really clean the grout at all um, and also one more thing is the battery when i first got the machine i didn't know how much time i really have uh, so i ran out of time i didn't have time to run the cleaning cycle the battery just uh, finish so I had to take the battery out to charge it put it back in the machine after two hours almost and I got to clean the brush and put the machine away so I just want to let you know I tested for you guys on high it gave me 21 minutes on high on eco mode it'll probably give you about 25 minutes or so so just be careful i mean i really recommend uh, buying an extra battery especially if you're planning on using it back to back from room to room it's really good investment over here you have a power button so you can turn the machine on and off and this is the mode so you can select high or eco mode eco mode will save battery and give you better run time so to turn the machine on just make sure you the battery is placed in, recline the handle and press the power button. And if you can see here, you have the trigger. When you want to spray water, you press down on this trigger that is located inside the, the handle. And what I usually do, go in forward i spray the water and then i stop and i go backwards just to pick up the water and pick up all the mess basically sometimes you have to go over the spot a few times uh, sometimes not if you have messy uh, stain or something like that i would uh, spray the water and move to another section and clean it and then come back to that stain and it will be easy just to pick it up and you can save battery as well uh, doing it that way with that being said, I really don't think this machine saved me time. Uh, even though I don't have to vacuum or sweep before I use it, I still have to go multiple times over the spot. That's why I really don't think it saved me time. Um, I'll let you see it right now, so let's get started. 
I just want to show you really quickly uh, here on the box actually um, it shows you uh, where you can use this machine uh, you can use it on wood floor but I read that it should be sealed sealed hardwood floor uh, tile vinyl and area rugs let me show you the mess I made over here starting from here we have some rice and a dry mat so this is like for a dry mess vacuuming we're going to test that out and over here i have also dry mat and rice and here we have some ketchup i put it in the, in the thin layer over here so hopefully it can dry by the time we start cleaning and i did big splatter right here you know sometimes kids eat like pasta with uh, sauce or lasagna and they have mess like this and over here we have some oatmeal and milk hopefully it's dry now okay so before i turn the machine on i'm going to explain what i'm going to do uh, first i'm going to show you how you can use this machine just as a vacuum if you don't want to use the water function the mop uh, so i'm going to turn just vacuum on and suck all the dry mess over here and then i'm going to turn the mop and vacuum suction on I'm going to use both I'm going to clean this mess on these two plugs right here water and white paper towel test I'm just going to spray my paper towel a little bit to get it nice and damp it's good it's nice and damp right now so we do wipe there we go doesn't have any residue so I think that's good so now when you finish the cleaning, you have to clean the machine before you store it away. What I usually like to do is take the dirty water tank and empty it out. I usually flush it down the toilet. Uh, don't wash it yet, we're going to do that later. You can give it a quick rinse if you really want. Then place it back on the machine. This is the measuring cup that we talked about earlier. Uh, so it is designed so you measure your uh, water. So you fill it up to the max line. And we're going to put the water inside here so we can clean out the roll. And right now, we're going to recline the handle and run the machine on high for like 15 20 seconds. It sucks up all the water as it cleans the roller. Now, to remove this cover, you squeeze and lift up. And this one is washable. You can just take it to the sink and rinse it out. And we can right now take the roller. It's nice and clean. It's pretty much almost dry, but we're going to set it right here so it can completely dry. Now, if you remove the uh, machine right now, you can see little uh, water and dirt residue. Uh, so just take like a paper towel or rag and just dry it and clean that up. Now I'm going to put the machine back on. We can just pat that dry as well. Remove the dirty water tank so we can take it to the bathroom and clean that. Look at the water. Empty the dirty water. Like I said, I usually like to flush it down the toilet and just give everything a really good rinse. You can take this and rinse it. You can rinse here. Usually I have hair trapped around this area so I take all that out make sure it's all uh, clean give it a good rinse and this is the filter you can also um, 
wash it. Uh, and now it's very important if you wash this filter to allow it to dry 24 hours. If you place it back in the machine while it's wet, it will be no suction at all. It literally says right here on the label, dry for 24 hours. So just make sure when you rinse it, allow it to air dry for 24 hours or more. Okay guys, so let's talk pros and cons. Let's start with the good stuff first. Now I really like how this machine is cordless. You all know how I feel about my cordless machines and number two is very easy to operate clean and reassemble it's great for quick cleaning after dinner after cooking or at the end of the day after work sweeping and mopping in the same action like I said doesn't save me that much time but it's pretty convenient not having to pull out two machines or sweep the floor then pull out the mop the bucket and all of that now my cons are not too many I only have like three of them but they are worth to mention number one is suction power this machine doesn't have that great suction power it's a, it's, it's it's good to pick up all uh, the dirt as vacuum wise but it doesn't have that powerful suction to pick up all the water that it puts down it was more like putting down the water and moving it around to dry and um, number two um, I, I don't think it really did clean my floor unfortunately Hoover stopped me selling the uh, scrubby brush they only sell the multi-purpose brush like the one I have and gentle brush which I think is too gentle it's good for delicate floor but it's not what I'm looking for and lastly the battery life is too short um, now the nice thing you can purchase extra battery as second and third one if you want with the higher amp uh, but it's going to add more to the cost of the machine and that's all i have for you guys today i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it useful and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye